Hello, it's Eliza Bloom Robinson here, and we are in the midst of a 40-day, let me adjust my uh, camera here a little bit, we are in the midst of a 40 days of healing energy for the world. <clears throat> Today is day number 16, and I have to tell you that um, as I'm thinking about day number 16, I'm thinking 40 days, what in the world were you thinking, girl? Like 40 days is like forever. Ever, and we're on day 16 however we will prevail we will um, keep going and we'll see what shows up um, what showed up for me just a few minutes ago I was um, finishing up some work uh, I got a document to some of the students I was teaching and, and got that off and I was scrolling Facebook for a few minutes <laughs> looking for inspiration actually <laughs> and I saw a dear friend of mine um, made a post and he's he's dealing with some cancer and he's dealing with some pretty intense physical reality and I know a lot of us on the planet are doing that and a lot of us on the planet are dealing with pretty intense emotional or mental psychology or issues or challenges and so for I thought for this particular person who will remain unnamed, but who might recognize himself, uh, I thought what we might do today is we would just have the experience of falling into ease. His post was about just uh, struggling today. You know, he's been very uh, prolific in, in um, letting his close friends know what's going on and asking for prayer and asking for support. So. I see a couple of you here. I see uh, more of you on than I see. So if you're here, I would love a comment and just say hello. I see Jamie is watching and Doug is watching. So I'm so glad that you are here. And uh, what we're doing today is we're activating a healing energy for the world in the idea, in the capacity, in the vibration of simply falling into ease. Doug says, can we increase the volume? I am old. No, I don't know if you're old. Is that any better? I'll just step a little closer to the microphone and speak up. My volume's all the way up. So I see uh, more of you uh, who are here. I uh, would love to know who's here. Steve says, yes, thank you. Doug says, better. I think it has to do with um, actually projection <laughs> instead of dropping into myself. So healing energy from the world, first and foremost, is really about this taking this 40 days of really focusing first and foremost on ourselves. First and foremost in activating an energy of frequency in ourselves and then expanding that out to the world. We don't necessarily send anything, but we activate the frequency. So think of a tuning fork. We activate a tuning fork and we allow that vibration to then expand through all the world. So we're going to activate today the experience of falling into ease. Now, if you've been following along on these 40 days, um, you will know that often it is an energy of relief an energy of release, an energy of letting go, and that's what we're going to do today. Of course, today's is um, based uh, very loosely on my book, Falling Into Ease, which you can get on Amazon. So, <clears throat> let's take a breath, and just first and foremost, acknowledge what you're experiencing right now. Those of you who are struggling, or who are having challenges, or who are being pushed up, we in my um, family, my personal family, a very close personal family, we're dealing with an, an issue that is, you know, calling us to our edges. It's really calling us to put into practice all that we preach, really, all that we teach. And uh, we're doing a pretty good job of it, actually. We're doing a pretty good job of it, but we still have, speak for myself. I still have those reaction moments, those reactive moments that I don't like this. I don't want this. I want it to be different. Give me a like. Uh, uh, push your like button. Push your hearts. Push your buttons if you can relate to me. 
right now do you ever have a moment where you are in resistance to what is showing up that resistance causes a contraction yeah we've got a couple likes there thank you that resistance causes a contraction the idea of simply falling into ease <sighs> causes an opening I was on the airplane a couple of days ago I spent a few days in Kansas City with my daughter and her four little ones under eight which was very lovely and very fun and very expansive and very exhausting all at the same time and I'm on my plane I'm on the plane coming home back to Phoenix and uh, got talking with the lady that was sitting next to me and I ended up you know giving her my book which often happens if you sit next to me in a plane you're probably gonna get my book if it applies and and she looked at it and and like so often she just sort of touched it and she went <sighs> and so I just engaged her in some more conversation I said what does that feel like just to hold the idea to hold the possibility that you right now in this moment could fall into ease <sighs> and she just did that right <sighs> Oh, that feels fabulous. That feels really intriguing. It feels uh, relaxing and expansive. So that's the energy we're going to activate today for yourself first, because we always start with ourself first. So whatever it is you're facing, whatever it is you're standing in, whatever it is you're experiencing in the world, or in your mind or in your emotions whatever that is would you be willing to simply accept it would you be willing to allow it to be there without judgments would you be willing even to welcome it I know that feels counterintuitive but say you're experiencing fear over a diagnosis or an experience would you be willing to welcome the fear or the anxiety or whatever it is you're experiencing would you be willing to welcome it our first response is gonna be oh I don't think so but what if you did but what if you could welcome it as a learning as an experience as an expansive moment what if you could simply welcome it only because it is what it is and if you come to an answer that says yes then you can ask yourself would you be willing would you be willing to let it go could you let it go notice what your own responses are would you be willing to let it go first welcome it yes Doug first welcome it you have to welcome it first you can't welcome it with the intention of letting it go but but the whole space of welcoming it then gives you the energetic the possibility of would you be willing to let it go could you let it go just answer for yourself would you let it go yeah I could let it go could you let it go yeah I could let it go and the final question when and just notice what happens for you if your answer is like now how awesome if your answer is like well tomorrow or next week or next month or next year just become curious about it And what if you could fall into ease simply by asking yourself the question, would it be all right with you if life got easier? <sighs> I've asked this question to literally thousands and thousands of people over the years and almost to a person as you consider that would it be all right with you if life got easier 
almost to a person, there is a, oh, a consideration, an impulse, an opening, a possibility, and then a relief. <sighs> that relief is what we're going to activate tonight in the healing energy for the world. Would it be all right with you if life got easier? Would it be all right with you if you fell into ease? Would it be all right with you if you let go of struggle and discovered ease? Just feel into what's happening in your own body. And imagine the world let me answer the question let's ask the world the entire planet the whole world every person on this planet would it be all right with you if life got easier and feel the collective consideration like take back like consider it like possibility like <gasps> There we go, there we go. Can you feel that? Can you feel that in yourself? Can you feel the planet, the entire world, falling into a sense of ease? We're gonna hold that, hold that healing energy. We're gonna expand it. Feel it for Mother Earth. Feel it for the people who are struggling, for the people who are in war, for the people who are misguided, for the people who are diseased. Feel it for the people who are hungry and the people who are abundantly blessed. It would be all right with you if life got easier. We ask it again to the world. Would it be all right with you? If life got easier, would it be all right to fall into ease? Feel the fall. It's a bit of a free fall. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it opening. Feel it expanding. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Feel it. Hold that for a few moments. be all right if the world fell into a greater ease. Put your hands on your belly or lower belly, your hara, and just let that energy, that vibration, that frequency permeate and penetrate and integrate through your entire being. Let that falling into ease, that energy, that vibration, that frequency integrate, permeate and penetrate the entire planet and beyond. Nice. 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 And so it is. And so it shall be. As within, so without. As you hold a frequency, as you land in a frequency, you activate it for the entire planet. I'm Eliza Bloom Robinson, transformational catalyst and spiritual healer, here joining with you for 40 days of healing energy for the world. I'll post in the link above the YouTube channel. I would encourage you to follow me on Facebook, but also subscribe to the YouTube channel that has just recently been created. I would love to see you over there. 
have a blessed day. Until tomorrow, namaste.